Hello traders, today I'm going to show you a way on how we could trade the news, news events, high priority news events that actually make the market move in these wild swings and how we can take advantage of that. Before we begin, remember that trading is risky, just understand there are risks involved with trading. So if you look at yesterday, January 5th, we had an FOMC Wednesday, typically it's at 2 o'clock, 2.30 Eastern Time, New York Time, and you can look at the online calendar that day trade to win offers or you can download the day trade to win indicator for free it's a trial you can download that and you can understand that news events impact the market now if you look at this specific candle right over here i'm using a one minute chart let me just expand this out here a little bit if you look at this candle right here right at about two o'clock 1400 we have a huge bar that was created now the idea is that the initial bar is the initial reaction that the traders impacted when the news came out. So they heard the news, whether it was positive or negative, and then immediately they created a reaction. And a lot of these traders, they just jump in with using market orders. Now what I want to do, because I don't know, and we don't know what they're going to say, what the news is going to be positive or negative. We don't even know if there's going to be a reaction to the news. So the first step is to look at whether or not there's a reaction. And I look at the candle that made the reaction from the traders if it's much larger than the other candles that came prior to it. And it is. So in fact, we did have a reaction to the news. The next thing I look at is whether or not the market continues in that same direction or if it reverses. Now, if, if it reverses, this is something that we could take advantage of. Unfortunately, the traders who took the initial position long, in this case, they are stuck. And what happens when they're stuck is they only have two options. They could get stopped out, which in this case is a sell, or they could get stopped out and reverse, which creates two sells or two orders in the opposite direction, which fuels the market in the opposite side, in the opposite direction. So since the initial direction was long over here, and a lot of traders purchased and bought the market, maybe the news at first sounded like it was a good idea, quickly it reversed. And so the traders that initiated the move, they are reversing, they are getting stopped out. And now I have a different take on the situation. Instead of me guessing what to do or getting bad fills or even uh, trying to chase the market regarding the news that came out, I wait for a reversal. And so I look at the lowest low, if it's a green candle, which it was, so this candle is a green candle, a bullish candle. I look at whether or not the market with could be within the next hour, it could be within the next 10 minutes, but in this case, almost immediately, we have one candle that closed back below the low of the reactionary candle. Usually I say wait for two candles just to have a little bit more evidence. You can just jump in right at the first closing price on reversal, but really what I'm looking at is this price. A lot of traders have their stops at the low or just below the low of this reactionary candle. So 46, 47.64, 47.65, this is where a lot of traders have their stops. And then you see an immediate reaction in the opposite side where traders are now reversing and getting stopped out and that causes all of this what you're seeing so I don't know the initial direction I don't know if there's even going to be a reaction to the news I don't know what the news is going to be but I wait for the initial reaction to occur and then whether or not it reverses so the opposite would be if there's a candle that is red a red bar a red candle where traders sold off because the news was negative according to their ideas and instead the market begins to climb and go higher most of the traders have their stops just above the reactionary candle and as soon as it hits their stops they enter a buy and then they can even reverse which is two buys or two long positions which then fuels the market to the upside and that's where I take advantage so wait for one or two candles so what I have here, I have the Blueprint software. The Blueprint software uh, provided uh, signals to go short. You can wait for uh, the signals like the Trade Scalper or the Atlas Line or the Blueprint, which I have here, to provide to me um, short signals after the initial news has come out. 
So this would be a short signal at 47.53 quarter, another short signal at 47. 42, another short signal at 47.37, and so on. Now, it's not always like this, obviously, but in this case, it worked out very well using the Blueprint software. You can find out more at daytradetowin.com, and remember, the next mentorship class, which includes all of the software, including the Blueprint software that you see here, is included with mentorship with lifetime licenses. My name is John Paul. I'll see you at the next video. If you're new to day trading and want to learn more on the benefits of trading the markets, visit daytrade2win.com, join the next mentorship class starting later this month, and subscribe to the Day Trade to Win YouTube channel. We focus on price action and we work exclusively with new and beginner traders who want to learn more on how to prosper from trading.